Kaylee, played by Danica McKellar, is fired by the new boss of 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 her work where she writes articles of this like newspaper or website one one of the two and trip's boss the the higher up says you need to go and get her back or else you are going to lose your job because she was loved by her readers we 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 had no idea how popular this column was so you need to get get her back so she goes back to her own town and trip follows her to try and get her to come back this film is good it's it's good danica mckellar kind of scared me this year because when a film just gets done that this film was shot this film was shot pretty much a month ago or a little under a month ago. And, and that kind of scared me. Because this film was just shot. I was scared of choppy editing. I, I, I was scared of rushing everything. And I was scared that they were not going to have enough time to create chemistry. I was wrong. And I know a lot of people... Uh, well, one, one person in a Hallmark group said, well, hey, isn't Dylan Neal a little too old to be playing her love interest? No, he's only six years older than her. I will say that, that Dylan Neal is one that I don't remember seeing in a Hallmark Christmas film. And while wow, 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 I'm talking about this film, I'm going to pull up his IMDb filmography. Christmas She Wrote has some good chemistry, a couple very sweet moments, and you 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 need to pay attention to to the stars uh social medias because Danica McKellar put out a little behind the scenes footage uh and it is pretty much that her her character is very good at skating. That never comes back into play besides in one scene. So they they have her on on this little like pull, pull, pulley system, and then the scenes where it's Dylan Neal and her stunt double just just skating with their backs to to the camera. That's never brought back into play. Uh, I will say that there's really nothing here that speaks a new Christmas classic for Danica McKellar. Is this a recycled plot? Yeah, but I just had fun with it. It was a cute, cozy little film that I had fun watching during the morning time frame. I would rather have watched this a little bit more uh, at, at night, but it's one that is... Recycled, they don't explain or delve into story elements. Uh, but I did say that I didn't really love the chemistry between the two. I, I, I felt like there was just no spark between them. But it's one that I will watch again because I love Danica McKellar. I, I, I just love her. I love her energy. I love her acting style. And I like how she gives the same to every single role. Whether it be her matchmaker mysteries. Whether it be uh, um, a Christmas movie or a Winterfest film or very, very Valentine or something like that. This is one that I'm going to watch again throughout the years. And I think this could get a DVD release if it did well in, in the ratings. I have not checked the ratings. But I do know that the one that has performed the best is uh, is Christmas Waltz. That got a 3.95. 3.95 million people watched it. And 3.93 million people watched uh, 
watch If I Only Had Christmas. I think the ratings are out now, so I am going to check those right after this. And I will be discussing which films will be getting, or I think will be getting, DVD releases next year based on, on, on the ratings and the receptions of, of, of these films. This is a film that is charming, but there's just nothing that speaks a great Christmas Hallmark classic that I'm going to watch for years and years to come. Like multiple times throughout the year. Like I will Christmas Under Wraps, Christmas Waltz, A Timeless Christmas, Jingle Bell Bride, Never Kiss a Man in a Christmas Sweater. Movies like those that I watch over and over again, this just isn't one of them. But I did, I, I, I did like it and I'm definitely going to watch it again. If it comes to DVD, I will be buying it. This is not as good as her film last year called Christmas at Dollywood, but it's definitely a charming little film, and I'm going to give Christmas She Wrote a B.